is Janie. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. It is time for my April book haul. And I also have an unboxing for you guys from Book Outlet. Uh, most of these books I got in March. Um, I just do them once a month now because that's generally when we have our meetup with Susan. Occasionally we'll go someplace else and like the Goodwill or something and, and browse the shelves or whatever. But once a month seems to work, so... That's how I'm doing it now. Anyway, let's just get started on this. The first book we've got here is Just One Look by Harlan Coben. I actually got this book from my sister-in-law's boyfriend. I do already have this book in paper. But it is in really good shape, so I decided that I would accept the gift and maybe just put this on the shelf anyway, even though I have my paper back there. The next one we got here is... Um, funny story for you guys, we went to uh, my grandson's, I guess it was an open house, and they had the book fair, and y'all know that I just read the first book in the Ever After High series, well, they had book three for $1.99, and I did not take a purse or money or anything, but my daughter um, went ahead and spent the $1.99 on this, this is book three, this is a wonderful land of full world. The series is by Shannon Hale. I really thought the book, first book was really cute. Definitely middle grade, but really enjoyable. So she picked that one up for me. Next one we've got here is Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. This is the only one that I have not read. I've not had a whole lot of success with the other two. Um, so I'm hoping maybe this one will... Meet my fancy, I don't know, but yeah, I'm just not feeling her writing. I don't know what it is, but there's this one. The next one we've got here is Of Poseidon by Anna Baines. Anna Banks, excuse me. This one my husband found, and he's a huge YA reader. And he already read it, and I told him I have heard stuff about this, so now he's looking for the other two books. Um... Yeah, he enjoyed it. So there's that one. We got here Cold Magic by Kate Elliott. It says, When Science and Magic Collide, it is the innocent who will die. I love the cover of this book. Um, it was only $7.50. I've not heard anything about it or really seen anybody talking about it. So I figured I would get it. And I think this is, yeah, this is book one to the Spirit Walker Trilogy. So yeah, I hope to get to that one soon. The next one we got here, it was actually a toss-up. There was two zombie books there, and Susan had just read this one. She said I should totally ch choose this one. It's called Zombie Zombie Fallout by Mark Tufo or Tufo or Tufo. Yeah, so she said she just read this, and they had all the books there, but I just kind of wanted to read this one first and see what I thought of it before I picked up the other ones. The next one we got here is Rush by Eve Silver. This is book one of the game. I've heard several people talk about this. I think Jen was talking about it. Um, I even think Shannon was talking about it, but... I saw it there, I figured, why not? So I picked it up. This next one my daughter actually picked up from the bookstore for me um, at a different time, and it's called Breathe by Sarah Crossan. I want to say Jen also was talking about this book. Um, it does sound like a really good book, and um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get to it. It says, walk, walk, we walk down the sun-drenched glass tunnel. Be Alina or Alina and me, we push open the revolving doors at one end, and we take, and we step as one into the airless planet. So, yeah, the world is apparently dead and gone, and they, I think they live in this place where they've got oxygen, but the outside world is where they want to go. So, that one sounded really good. Okay, the next one we got here is Before I Go by Colleen Oakley. This is a contemporary. It was on the sales rack. This woman um, has cancer really bad. She finally beats the cancer, but then it comes back. So it's going to be probably a tearjerker kind of story. But I like to read those realistic stories every once in a while. I think it keeps me grounded. So there's that one. 
The next one we've got here I found out is book three, but it's called Ad Eternum by Elizabeth Bear. They're, by, they're about vampires, and I'm not exactly sure of the term. I have heard it before, but I figured I'd pick it up. It was in the sales rack. It's a small book, so yeah, I grabbed it. I liked the cover, too. I thought it was pretty cool. The next one we've got here is Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. You guys know I love Karen Slaughter. Huge fan. Um, right now I'm reading book two, or I already read her book two um, in her Grant County series. I've read the Will Trent series. And now this one is a standalone. And it's supposed to be a pretty disturbing story. She's a great writer. And I'm just I'm really looking forward to getting to this one. So my husband found me a couple books um, to the Outlander series, series by Diana Gabaldon. He found me An Echo in the Bone and Written in My Own Heart's Blood. And I believe these are books six and seven. Gorgeous covers. So um, they're really beefy books. The whole series, are they're all beefy books. So yeah, I got those two now and I have all the books until the next one comes out. And now for the unboxing, and yes, I have already cut the box open. It just makes more sense to do that ahead of time. Oh, there's so much paper in there. Invoice. Alright, let's get going here. Alright, we I bought... Um, there's that one. I bought the um, Skin Jacker Trilogy by Neil Schusterman because I enjoyed Unwind so much. So I've got Ever Lost, um, Ever Wild, which is a bigger book, and then Ever Found. I wanted to read this series. They had all of them in the paperback, matching covers. Made me really, really happy. So I'm looking forward to starting that series. Next one we picked up here is Archetype by M.D. Waters. This is a book that Jen had picked for me for the Pick 5 Challenge. They had it there. I took a chance and looked it up. And, um, yeah, so hopefully I'll get to that one soon. The next one we've got here is The Unfairest of Them All. This is book two in the Ever After High series. And um, I'm not sure. I think it's... I think it might be only a trilogy. No, I think there's more to it than that. I don't know for sure. But anyway, I've got one, two, and three now. They all got the matching hardcover. And I just that makes me so happy that I found all of them. And the last book for this unboxing is The City of Heavenly Fire um, by Cassandra Clare. This is the only one that we did not have in the Mortal Instruments. And now I can read that series. My husband actually had our oldest daughter take it out of her library. That's how he read the last one. I just need to read the whole series. I did read book one like two or three years ago. And I don't remember a thing, so I need to read that over. And then I will get through the whole series hopefully and that is my book haul unboxing if you've read any of these books let me know in the comments below we will talk about it thanks guys for staying tuned and i'll see you in the next video bye